park at Camden Yards, a wonderful place to go. Those who hit a ball into that area beyond the fence in right field get a plaque. Jackie Bradley Jr. got one from 2017. He's in conversation now with Hazel May. Pleasure to officially welcome the newest member of the Toronto Blue Jays, Jackie Bradley Jr. I said when I when I saw you walking up the, the clubhouse steps, it's a little strange seeing you in blue instead of red. What's it feel like to be joining an AL East rival? It feels good. Um, you know, like I said, this is a it's a great group of guys, it's a, a great team, and um, they're playing amazing ball. I know. Watching them, you know, from afar or actually up, up, up close as well, um, you know, they really enjoy playing the game from from the way it looks like, and um, you know, they're, they're a good ball club. Um, they're they're well coached, and I'm, I'm excited to be here. JBJ, you're traded back to Boston last December uh, from the Brewers. You get DFA'd shortly after the deadline. How surprised were you? Did you have an inkling that something might be going on? Uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say. I, I feel like in this game, I don't really think anything should surprise you. You almost got to expect the unexpected. And, um, you know, maybe they... I could see kind of where the, the team was going. They wanted to go, maybe wanted to go in a different direction, and um, that's okay. That's us. It's all part of it. And um, you know, where d doors closes, you know, others open. So I'm, I'm excited for the opportunity. I know the young core here is excited to have a World Series champion, an ALCS MVP, uh, a Gold Glover, and an All Star on board. How can you help? A young core looking to go deep in October. You've got a ton of postseason experience. Yeah, just just being there. Um, you know, I can you know be the, the the voice to to be able to let them know like this is it's still the same game. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, with postseason, um, there's a lot more the media and um, a lot more fans and interaction and you know time commitment, but. No, that's that's okay. You can kind of use that to your advantage, and um, you know you live in the moment. Enjoy enjoy it because it's exciting. This is what why we play. We play to play in the postseason and ultimately to, to win the World Series. It's exciting to watch you play out there in the outfield. Um, we know from watching highlight reels over the years how amazing you are at that position. Offensively, how are you feeling about where you are with your swing and how this season has gone for you at the plate? I feel confident. Um, you know that's that's never been a been a thing. Um, obviously, I I would love for for balls to to fall for me. Um, you know, that, that's helpful when you when you hit it hard. Some, when you hit it hard sometimes and it's right at them, it's, it's still not going to work. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm continuously working. Um, I'm I'm grinding and I'm I'm putting forth um, that effort each and every single day. And I'm looking forward to working with the hitting coaches here. We're looking forward to seeing you out there, although I will say I was a little surprised to see you on the mound when you were with the Red Sox facing the Yankees in an 11-5 ball game in the ninth inning. You struck out DJ LeMayhew. That was your first ever pitching experience. Did you ever think you'd be doing that in the major leagues? I didn't know if I would ever get the chance to. Uh, <laughs> Did you ever want to? Um, yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah. I, I, I think as a, as a position player, you always kind of envision what it would be like and uh, I, I got that opportunity and um, I wish I'd uh, actually warmed up a little bit more maybe I'd have done a little bit harder uh, I didn't get the I didn't, well yeah I came off the bench that game so um, I got a little late notice um, but uh, they wanted me to stay healthy so that was the game plan don't don't leave it all out there on the mound Listen, this is a terrific ball club for you to join the Blue Jays. You've done a lot of things here. You've uh, hit a home run onto Utah Street. Uh, you robbed a couple of guys, Trey Mancini, I think Chris Davis. Um, why do you like playing at this particular ball club? What is it about this that brings the best out of JBJ? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, it's a really nice ballpark. Um, I, my family's pretty close to here. Um, um, from the Richmond, Virginia area, so it's not not too too far. So I have, usually have a lot of family members and stuff come up here, and yeah, they, they make it a little home series for me. All right. Well, I know Blue Jays fans are thrilled to have you on board. They'll look forward to seeing you at Rogers Center. Welcome. Thank you. Glad. All right, Jackie Bradley Jr., the newest member of your Toronto Blue Jays. Get used to that smile. Let's send it back to you. 
And Hazel, suddenly the Blue Jays are flush with Major League outfielders on the roster. Joe, what do you think of this uh, acquisition? Yeah, it's a depth signing. I think you add another player and it's basically for free. It's a player that was released, so you add him to your roster and uh, it, it makes me really start wondering more and more about George Springer. Now we know Whit Merrifield was acquired at the deadline probably because of the el elbow issues with Springer, but Bradley just brings another element. I've always enjoyed watching him play the outfield, and we've seen him a lot, of course, with the Red Sox in the AL East over the years. It's probably, in some senses, an upgrade over Bradley Zimmer, and the only reason I say this, I can see Jackie Bradley Jr. maybe getting more starts in the outfield than Zimmer. Uh, Zimmer's still that option late in the game. This could be tryout camp, Jamie. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's to see what he can do over the course of a week or whatever time it takes for Springer to get back and force the Blue Jays to make a decision of sorts. But this is a guy who has had success in the past. The bat clearly is not what it once was, but he's a veteran player. He's won a gold glove. He's won a World Series. He's been there, done it. He's played in the AL East, so nothing's going to have him shying away from anything. This is the type of player that could come in, join a team, and, and kind of catch fire and really play well and really ignite things. Now, it's not that this lineup needs igniting, but anytime you can add a player to the mix, as I joke when I say tryout camp, but quite literally, this is probably a free signing. See what he can do for a week or two weeks before you're forced to make a decision on your roster when Springer is finally activated. Do you think this uh, deal is made if he hits from the right side? It's a left-handed hitter, but, you know, we've said all along the Blue Jays could use a left-handed hitter, but this isn't the left-handed hitter you're looking for. You're right. looking for a left-handed bat, probably with different last names than Jackie Bradley mm -hmm. Jr. or even when they acquired Whit, Whit Merrifield. He's right-handed also. It doesn't really help the left-handed mix, but I think the Blue Jays are comfortable with their right-handed lineup. Pretty good guy to have on a quote-unquote tryout basis, if that's what it amounts to. And we have uh, a lot on the network for you tonight. The National Bank Open continues Sportsnet 1 has the men's event, and the women are on Sportsnet 360. In fact, Bianca Andreescu will be featured on Sportsnet 360 from the National Bank Open on a couple of channels. Our focus on the Blue Jays at Camden Yards as Alec Manoa gets the start against Ryan Mountcastle and the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch is moments away. Thank you, as always, for watching Blue Jays Central.